What's up guys? My name is Rodrigo Banzato and I'm here to show you a production of a 3D model. This model is part of the Tonka 3D Total Object. Um, we will make the low poly version to work uh, with the, the Hander View Ray and inside the UDK. UDK is a game engine, it's a free game engine that you can download. Um, here we are using a 3ds Max and remember this is a, not a course uh, for 3ds Max beginners and we will not see basic stuff like rotating viewports, applying some shortcuts um, so keep in mind that this production is recorded uh, from 0 to 100 so you will not lose any data so it's good to, to see the pipeline how the pipeline works all right so here we started with a simple box uh, more or less with the the same proportions of our sofa uh, I like to work uh, when I have a big one monitor I like to work with the small window in 3ds Max and a second window to let, to let the reference Sometimes I put the reference inside the viewport, but uh, I like to work uh, in this way. Here, as you can see, I'm choosing uh, some part of the models. Um, I like to work in this way. Sometimes I, I do um, a complete model and start making some connections, but uh, for this I will prefer to, to work with separated parts as you can see the model we have um, um, some details in, in that part okay As you can see, I'm modeling uh, in the same perspective view. Sometimes I change, uh, like here, I'm using the top view just to let the proportion more natural. Here you can see that part. Okay, the pads move and here I use the turbos move and I will make some connections to let the model less smooth. Okay, we can model just one pad, pads move because we have uh, three, three models. We don't need to model uh, all the sofa. We have one, two, three, four, five principal parts. So let's make this. As you can see, I'm selecting all these edges in the in this same angle. If you have some difficulties, you may want to, to rotate the viewport to see the, the edges. I'm selecting these edges 
because I want to create um, something uh, like like this uh, to separate the parts of the models and to build a, a good structure to start making uh, the details in this first part uh, the model will not be too too good you see uh, that uh, the model is very hard not have too, too many smooth parts all right but it's okay for now Selecting these edges, apply a ring, control, select polygon, and you have all the selection. And now we use the extrude via local normal. So now we have that type of data. Like I said, it's not too good. But um, for this model, these edges uh, are very important. Here I'm testing if the chamfer is working, so I will select all the parts, uh, but in this case I prefer to make a connection and delete the other part because uh, it's the same so I can use a symmetry modifier later to, to have the, uh, the other part of the model. So here select all these corner areas. And now we can make the chamfer and delete these little edges so you remove that problem, keeping the model very smooth. Here I'm using the push and when I make some connections or separated parts I like to use the push to correct these areas so if you select the right uh, polygons like I'm doing here you can really change uh, how are these connections take a look and see for yourself Okay, here I will make an, a new extrude and now with a push take a look and see how we can change these data really fast here we must delete this part
And here we'll, we'll test uh, some connections to see if, if we can start applying the details. In this moment, I'm selecting these edges to to make the details on bigger, on smaller, and let's test using the turbo the extrude extrude by edge. With the turbo move on, we can put the two and see. How will be this type of details? It's not so good, not so natural, but it's a good start. Um, here I deleted, I, I had a um, edit poly. Uh, I, I'm making uh, new connections here. As you can see, connect much more more connections because we need a lot data in that area. If you find uh, some deep code and look at this video and trying to make the the same model, yeah. If you don't uh, know uh, the 3ds Max. We have a magazine called a Tutorial 3D Second Edition, where we we have um, 20 images showing how to model uh, a sofa from zero to 100. And so in 20 steps, you can learn and see the the basic tools you can use. So th this is a, a more complex sofa. But uh, if you want, you can check that magazine and you'll see a, a good start uh, to learn to just max.
as you can see we we are removing the the vertices to remove a vertice just don't click delete or you delete the face just press ctrl backspace and you can remove the vertices all right and as you can see uh, the model is not too natural and so in a later time we will have a more natural uh, effect I'm using the soft selection now to to give some size and let this part more rounded I have a, a problem here, so just collapse these two vertices and it's done. So we have a, a, a good mesh to work. I'm just adjusting some proportions 